Good evening. Okay, well, you guys have been great. You've done a lot of really, really good work all week. I'm really excited for you. I'm proud of you. Um, I know that sometimes it's a little scary when we start um, digging into those those emotions, especially the things that have been buried for so long, and um, it, it's frightening. So kudos to all of you that are doing it. Um, when you get on the other side, it's going to be so much better. Anybody ever done a cleanse? You know, just a regular old um, physical cleanse. You know, a lot of the time when we do a cleanse, we feel kind of icky. You know, sometimes we're achy, sometimes we have a headache, sometimes we have a stomach ache. Um, you know, just it's uncomfortable. But when we get through it and we get to the other side, it's great. And we feel so much better and we're energetic and, and everything just seems to work better. Um, same analogy with cleaning out a closet. You know, when we clean out a closet, I don't know about you, but the room gets pretty messy before I'm finished because everything comes out and it's spread all over the place and dust is flying and all that. So it, it gets really messy before it gets better. But by the time I'm finished cleaning that closet out, I've got all the junk, I've thrown it away. It's out of the house. It's not a problem anymore. And I put everything back and it's all neat and organized and in its place. So that's the same thing that happens with, with emotions. So are you guys ready to conquer some toxic emotions? Now, they say, science tells us, that it takes between 21 and 254 days to break a habit. Our brain creates pathways of thinking, which results in what we call a habit. So when you do something over and over again, um, it creates this pathway, and then it just becomes second nature to us. So have you ever noticed that you perform a sequence of actions without really even thinking about it? Think about your morning routine. So we wake up in the morning. What do we do the first 30 minutes that we get up? And, and it's different for all of us, right? But maybe we immediately head to the kitchen where we have a glass of lemon water and we take our thyramin. Then we go to the bathroom and, whoops, technical difficulty here. Then we, um, sorry about that. Then we brush our teeth and maybe we hop in the shower. So we don't really get up and sit on the side of the bed and go, okay, what am I gonna do now today? We really don't usually do that. We have a routine and it's kind of like we're on autopilot or maybe we're driving to the grocery store and we get in the car and turn the radio on and we can just be singing to the, you know, whatever songs on the radio or listening to whoever we're, you know, speaking if we've got a CD or something playing. We don't even really think about, oh my gosh, let me think. I'm going to turn right here. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go that light. I'm going to stop. We don't think about that. We just get in and we go. So it's because we have those pathways and it's, it's just second nature to us. But when we learn to do something new, uh, I don't know, can you remember when you first learned to ride a bike maybe? When we first get on that bicycle, we are so concentrated on steering, not hitting anything, on pedaling, you know, we're thinking about pedaling. We are thinking about just staying upright right so but we're, we're very concentrated like it takes all of our focus to do that after we practice for a while we get outside and we get on that bicycle and we just start driving we're no longer thinking about oh my gosh I've got a pedal oh my gosh I've got a steer oh my gosh I've got to keep my balance we can be talking to people we can be listening to something in headphones it's we've created that pathway and that cell memory of how to ride a bicycle and we just do it. We don't have to think about it anymore. Our subconscious recalls it and, and doesn't require us to, to spend um, any time thinking about that. We just do it. So when we change a pattern, our brain creates a new pathway. The time for that to occur varies from person to person and from circumstance to circumstance. That's why when we're clearing toxic emotions, we choose to do so for 30 days. Remember that 21 to um, 254 days that we talked about before that science tells us? I've never experienced it taking 200 and some days to clear a toxic emotion, but who knows, maybe it could. 
Some will clear faster than others. We just have to be sensitive and pay attention to our body and pay attention to how we're feeling and proceed accordingly. So listen to your intuition. We all have it and we're going to talk about intuition more um, a little bit later. So you guys ready to do this? Hopefully you brought your book and you've got your notebook, right? So let's go to page 48. Get over there. The part that says, um, the section that says emotions, oils, and affirmations. So what we want to do first is um, we're going to choose an emotion. We're going to choose something that we want to work on. Now you may already know what that is. You guys have been taking some good notes. You've been writing in your, no in your notebook and, and keeping track of some things that you've been feeling as you've been using some oils, stuff like that. So you may already know where you want to start. So for the, our exercise tonight, just to, um, to go through this together so that we can all be on the same page, I've got several questions been coming in about exactly how to do things. Um, we're, I'm going to turn over on page 50 and I'm going to look at fear. Fear is what I'm going to work on. So first of all, under fear, I'm gonna, I see a lot of different choices for oils. Acceptance, bergamot, clary sage, gentle baby, gratitude, harmony, highest potential, hope, inner child, into the future, joy, myrrh, release, Roman chamomile, rose, Sarah, chutron, stress away, valor, and white angelica. So there's a lot of choices. Now that does not mean that we need to use all of those oils. What that means is let's choose one. So for the exercise tonight, I have chosen acceptance. I'm having technical difficulties. Goodness, guys. Okay, so I've got my acceptance. That's the one that I'm choosing to use. Okay, so underneath the list of the oils, you can see there, there's some affirmations, and they're really short and really simple. Now, later we can, we can expand on those, but for the purpose of what we're doing, these are quite sufficient. I trust, I am confident, and I am resolute. So choose whichever one feels best to you. You're going to hear me talk a lot about going by how I feel or how you feel. I want you to really begin to pay attention to that because that's your intuition and your intuition is always right. Um, I trust, I am confident, I am resolute. So choose one of those. Now we've chosen an emotion. We'll write it down. We've chosen the oil that we want to use. We're going to write that down and the affirmation. Now, turn with me to page 59. You ready? The, this is emotional clearing technique. So, the first thing that we're going to do, step one, talks about having a gratitude journal. Now, you guys already have a gratitude journal, and I ask you to write three things, at least three things in it. If you're really going to get down to the nitty gritty, I encourage you to increase that if you haven't already to 10 things every day in your journal. Remember we talked about what if we only had tomorrow what we are grateful for today? So 10 things in your journal as you start out every single day. We've already chosen fear. We've chosen the affirmation and we've chosen the oil. So those things are done. Now number three says set your intention on becoming emotionally balanced. So that's just having that desire, just choosing that we're going to work through this. That, this, that fear is something that I'm choosing to get rid of. I no longer want to be um, troubled by fear or controlled by fear. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my valor you can use Valor, you can use Grounding, you can use Lavender. I'm going to put four drops in my hand, activate it, okay, and then I'm just going to take it, the back of my neck, tops of my shoulders. For this purpose, I'm not going to do my feet, but the bottom of my feet. Um, I'm going to smell it and just really spend some time doing that. We carry around our portable diffuser everywhere we go. This, that is such an amazing thing and we can do it anywhere. So do that and just take several deep breaths, at least five, just, just breathing it in. And that's just helping our body to come into balance um, the energy so that we can be more receptive to what, the work that we want to do. 
So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take release, is what I've got, um, Ylang Ylang or Trauma Life, any of those will do. We're going to put three drops into our non-dominant hand and we're going to activate it again, you know, just like we did before. And then we're going to take the oil and go around the navel. And we're going to repeat three times as we're doing that, just clockwise circles around the navel. I am really sorry, you guys. I choose to release all negative emotions and receive that which is positive and uplifting to me. And I'm going to say that three times as I'm putting that oil around the navel. Then I'm going to come up and I'm going to use my portable diffuser, my hands, and I'm going to breathe again. Five deep breaths. Okay? Now, I'm going to take either frankincense or clarity, and I like to use clarity. I'm going to put a drop on each of my temples, okay, and at the base of the skull. Very easy to do. Now, this one's a little bit, little bit harder. This is probably the hardest part. Um, and these are release points. So there's, there's a reason that we're using these points on the body. Now I've got my Idaho Blue Spruce. Idaho Blue Spruce is such a powerful, amazing um, emotional oil. I love this oil. So we're going to take a drop on our left finger and hold it at, on our right foot between the big toe and the second toe. And that's just a spot. We're just going to hold there. Then we're going to take um, the right finger and we're going to have a drop of oil on it and we're just going to hold it here. And we're going to hold there for three minutes. And while we're holding, we're going to say our, our affirmation at least ten times. And so when we speak an affirmation, we always want to speak it out loud. We want to hear ourselves say it. Remember, we believe what we hear. So I would say, I trust I trust, I trust. I'm always going to say it at least three times, but in this case, I'm going to say it ten. Now, you can certainly say it more than that because for three minutes, you can say it several times, and there's power in it. And say it, say it like you mean it. Say it like you really believe that you trust, okay? That's, that's really important. And it, the first couple of times you do this, it's going to feel probably a little uncomfortable. You'll feel, you know, maybe a little even silly sometimes doing things, but that's okay. So we're going to go, okay, I'm going to slow down. <laughs> Three minutes, holding those positions, stating the affirmation ten times. And I can't see what you guys are saying. So I apologize for that. The next step, step eight, Hopefully, we've, everybody's got your book, and so I'm actually on, right now, I'm on page 60 in the Conquering Toxic Emotions book, if that's what a question is. I see somebody, um, that's where we're at, so hopefully you've got the book. So, step eight, then, is to take whatever blend that you chose. So, in this case, I chose acceptance, so I'm going to take my bottle of acceptance, Again, I'm going to use three drops, activate it. I'm putting it right over the heart point, so right on my chest. And then I'm going to tap one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three. Six times I'm going to tap. Okay, you've got that step. The next thing is we're going to come back to um, either Idaho Blue Spruce or frankincense, and I like to use one of them for one and the other for the other. So we just used Idaho Blue Spruce. So I like to use um, frankincense. We're just going to put a drop on our fingertip, and we're going to hold it at the base of the skull. And as we do that, we're going to state our affirmation. And the affirmation that I chose tonight to go with fear is, I trust, I trust, I trust, I trust. I trust, I trust. Okay? Very, very simple. So, again, we can alternate between frankincense and Idaho blue spruce. And we're going to put a drop on each of our fingertips and we're holding. Again, these are release points. And we're going to state our affirmation again. I trust, I trust, I trust. Okay? And we'll do that at least three times. 
That is the whole process, you guys. So if I weren't explaining it, it would only take about five minutes to really do the whole thing. It does not take a long time at all. It's best that we do this twice a day. If we're really struggling, if fear really had a stronghold on me, I could totally do this multiple times a day. And again, even if I'm at work, I can have my oils, I can go into the bathroom, I can go out into my car, I can go anywhere that I feel comfortable going and just doing this and just taking my time to walk through this. So hopefully everybody's, you know, you hopefully you've got the book where you can go through that, read through it if you haven't um, already. I probably, I expect most of you have already read the book, so you've, um, you've probably already seen that. Now, I want to look at something else with you. If you, if you don't know where to start, if you're just saying, oh gee, I have absolutely no idea what kind of emotion, what kind of anything. I don't know where to start. It just totally overwhelms me. In your book, let me get the page. On page 66, you'll have a section of questions. Let's look at the very first emotional questionnaire. So again, this is, if I have no idea, I just, it's overwhelming, I don't know where to start. We will, you'll read questionnaire number one, and if you answer to any of these, and they'll have, some of them will have three questions with each one, some of them will have four, some of them will have five. If you answer yes to three or more, that's an emotion that you probably want to work on. So the first one says, are you compulsive or do you have impulses to do things obsessively? The second says, do you lack confidence in yourself? The third says, do you expect failure? And the fourth says, do you feel inferior or do you feel that others are more capable and qualified than you are? So for this, sir, for this, um, for tonight, for this demonstration, let's say I said yes to at least three of those. The oil it suggests to me to use right underneath there says bergamot. Now the emotions that are listed to give an idea of some of the emotional components. That doesn't mean that I'm dealing with all of them, but guaranteed I'm dealing with at least one of them and probably two or three of them. So here's what they say. Compulsive and or obsessive behavior, tension, sadness, nervousness, lack of self-confidence. So I can go back and instead of using acceptance like we did with fear, I can use Bergamo. Now, the thing that you can do to find an affirmation for that is to go back over where we started um, in the oils and emotions section, affirmations. Over on page 49, and we can look up some of these emotions. So we could go over and we could look, and they, they aren't all in the book, but tension, nervousness, and confidence is. So let's just look at confidence because I need self-confidence. So under, under confidence is build your dream, envision, grounding, highest potential, inspiration, Idaho blue spruce, jasmine, chutron, transformation, and valor. So again, I choose one of those um, if I don't want to use the bergamot. Okay, and someone else, I'm, I certainly cannot take credit for the questionnaire that was put together by um, someone else and he did a wonderful job and I love that and I've used it over the years so I wanted to include it in the book and he gave me permission to do so I think it's such a valuable tool. So you can look, if you don't have bergamot, go over there and find an oil that you do have and then find yourself a, a, an affirmation. I am confident, I am secure, I trust myself. So choose one of those and then you go through that 10 step clearing process. So it's pretty simple. And once you've finished it and when you finish, feel like you've finished that emotion, when it no longer feels like it's got a hold of you and you are not repeating behaviors that you were before that were associated around that, then move to the next thing. You again are in control of that. So that may take you 10 days, that may take you 30 days, it may take you 60 days. I don't know. 
Just pay attention to how you feel. So that's this. It's really, really easy to know where to start and how to do it. So now you are totally ready to begin clearing toxic emotions and moving into the freedom that you desire and that you deserve because we all do. That's, that's God's intention for us. That's his highest choice for us. So this next week, we're going to begin to explore the power of affirmations, really looking into that, and conscious language. So again, we're really going to be studying, delving right into the power of the words that we speak. Throughout the Bible, it talks about life and death is in the power of the tongue. So we're going to learn um, some things that we might be doing. It'll come to our awareness of some some phrases maybe that we're using, some words that we're using, and we can make higher choices there. So I'm really excited to explore that with you guys. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, please post them. Um, again, I can't see your questions tonight. I apologize for that. But if you'll post them, I will go in and do my very best to answer all of them. Anytime you have a testimony, we have created um, a post so that we can keep those all in one place and they'll be easy to find and we, there won't be the new people coming in or having a little bit of a hard time following things so we want to keep the keep the post as clean and um, organized as possible so I appreciate your, you guys' help with that speak blessings over you guys love you and I'll be seeing you this week <laughs>